my DVD with Michael Ellis, part of the DVD is to teach the dog positions, sit down and stand. In this little training video clip, you will see Rush when he was 12 months old at one of Michael's seminars that we held here at Learburg. Going through a training session for sit down and stand, the dog has already been taught the exercises. This is just where Cindy's putting them all together. The next training DVD that I do with Michael will be how to play tug with your dog and then use tug as a reward for various exercises. Here you're seeing Cindy both use the tug and the food reward. It's very effective. Keep in mind that this dog is about 12 months old here. Wiggly and sort of offer. Um, and it's because he's so wiggly and wants to offer the next behavior, don't link. Still reward every behavior. Still reward every. And to him, in place. He's doing them all quickly. The, the crispness of the activity is not his issue, right? right. Stability in position is his biggest issue. Yeah, all right. he's wiggly he wants to go on to the next one. So. Every, every one you reward, and I would use food and go to him to reward him in place for them. So it's a good to him, feed him. So Another him position, down. good to him, feed him. So he actually starts to hold them for a sec, and, uh, and he doesn't get released out, so he doesn't get fidgety. And then if he offers the next one, just kind of know, have him hold it there, do it again. When he stabilizes for a second, good, come into him and reward him in place. So Because all those were um, gymnastically correct. And, and, and Chris, right? He did them all right. He kicks it, kick out stand, he drops straight down, and the sit, so he was, there was no forward motion on any of those, so he was doing them right. The issue is now having him stay there. Good, and then. Stand. We're taking a little step back. What do I do about that? Um, it'll go away as you go, right? So right now, just make sure there's no body movement because he's really sensitive to your body movement. And it, he'll, that'll kind of fade. And especially as we start to put distance and stuff, he'll quit doing it. So normally the backup just starts to fade away. Right. And the other thing is make sure you're not yesing him in these. He's good. Because if you yes, he's going to think he's being released and he starts to either come forward or do whatever else it is. So I, what I tend to do is I hold the food down, and I ask for the position, I go, good, and I kind of calmly come forward right. and feed him a couple times, and I step away, ask for the next position, good, and then I come Here, forward. And, and he's at a point where I just kind of calmly know for him offering other stuff. So if he, if he starts to go to the next position without you, then just kind of, uh-uh, down. He holds it there, good, and it comes to him until he does it. Yeah, well, right, exactly. And, and, we, and we really like it, but there is a fine line between staying there and letting yeah. them do it too long, and then it becomes really habitual, and they love doing that. And they get really like, oh, no, you didn't reward me fast enough. Now I'll do this and do this and do that. we will try everything. Our DVD, titled The Power of Training Dogs with Food, is three hours and 45 minutes long and goes into the work that teaches dogs positions. You can read about it on our website and see a few more short clips. If you'd like to watch some of the free streaming videos that I have on my website, you can go to this web address now. I have a number of uh, free streaming training videos and then a number of product videos also.